Hello everyone, I'm Bodine Victoria. Welcome to my kitchen and this is my pot. Now you all know I don't normally wear a t-shirt when I come inside my kitchen, but because I'm making crab and dough, I need to be nice and comfortable for when it's time to take apart this crab. And I'm gonna be sharing this crab and dough with somebody very, very special. So stay tuned to see what the roundup is on my special take on crab and dough. This episode of Bodine Pot is proudly sponsored by Showman E Bistro. And the wait is finally over. Showman E Bistro, the restaurant, is here on Mackey Street. Enjoy the multicultural food experiences you've come to love with standard vegan and vegetarian options available, plus valet parking, picturesque scenery, and chef inspired meals for outdoor dining, takeout, or delivery. Order your Showman meal at showmanebistro.com and taste the world. Now crab and dough is a deeply, deeply serious thing. How serious is it? Well, with 700 islands and keys and everybody mummy, they Annie and they Grammy with their own recipe, the ingredients are up for debate and discussion. But personally, I think it's more or less dependent on which island you're from. Some old school people really and truly is just make their dough, then they just put their crab inside the pot with some onions, some thyme, maybe a couple other little herbs, a little, a little bit of water to, to help make that dough steam and then that's the end of that. Now that's a very very old school way. Now the new school way is you know those of us who have our cousins up in South Carolina and in Louisiana how they like to do their crab boil. Well some of us with the new school way what we just do is we just add things like meat and then we just add corn and carrots and sweet potato and occasionally you got some pumpkin in there and let that boil with that dough so you got more and more things to eat with that crab when you crack it open. All I gotta say is depending on what island you're from and what you do in your house, ain't really no real, real rules to making crab and dough unless you're doing the real, real, real old-fashioned crab and dough. So I say, this me, this me, y'all can tell me if y'all agree. I say that if you're making crab and dough, just say if you're doing it old-fashioned or if you're doing it new school, and then that's the end of that debate. Also, I can go show you how I make my crab and dough. And let me just let y'all know, this is my pot. So would you put in your pot? That's up to you. Let's get the recipe started. I'm doing something a little bit different today. So the recipe card is going to be at the very end of the video. But for this one, we're going for a sweeter, more nutty and herb flavored dough. So my take on it involves adding butter as well as coconut oil, some garlic powder and fresh sage as well as fresh oregano to the mix. And this is going to help us have a differentiation of flavors when it comes down to our crab and dough. And the last thing that we're gonna do is over knead this. So I'm sorry about the shaky table, but you wanna take your time and you wanna knead it very, very lightly. Don't overwork it or else your dough is gonna be very hard. And then you can look and you can see that this is a very soft, pillowy dough. And we're gonna set this aside. Here's the recipe card I promised. Let me know if you prefer this format. This episode of Bodine Pot was sponsored by Showman E Bistro. If you're looking for a great team building activity, customize your Showman meal kit and get cooking. Turn up the camaraderie with chef led demos and more. Learn more at showmanebistro.com. Now it's time to steam our crab. So we're gonna put our root vegetables and the corn at the very bottom of the pot. We're gonna season them with some garlic. And then we're going to add a little bit of butter and some salt. And if you put a little bit too much salt in, well, you're gonna go easier on the crabs. So I'm gonna mix that up right now. Now, the big debate is whether you put the crabs in um, on their back or on their bellies. And I put them in on their back because I don't want the crab fat to seep out. 
and now I am adding our plantains because they're softer and this liquid is some delicious salt beef brine that I saved along with onions and then we have some sweet peppers you can add any of those type of herbs you want I'm adding a little bit more oregano and sage as well as some butter and then I'm gonna put some thyme on the top of this If you look at this, you see that it has started to boil. It's been about five minutes, and now we're going to add our dough to the top. When we add the dough to the top, you're gonna to be careful to stretch it so that it fits along the edges. It does not have to be perfect. And then we're going to reduce our heat to low because we want this to steam. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much. Here is the recipe card. And it's been about 10 to 15 minutes and this is what our dough is looking like look at it the glossiness is from the butter and the coconut oil this is gonna be so sweet and delicious we're gonna let this steam for another five minutes because the crabs have to cook through all right y'all so you got the juicy crab you got your corn you got your carrot you got your potatoes you got all those delicious herbs plus that on that dough man I had some fresh herbs that I got from my friend Carly and straight out of her garden I can leave you you know her information right there if you want some fresh herbs that you don't gotta grow yourself well she has got you covered and I want you to know that adding them into the dough made all of the difference because you don't get bored eating the same thing even though the crab is still the star of this Bahamian dish um, I'm gonna be sharing this with Cache right there from Ayers of Bahamian Bay to get her feedback and give her a taste of what our next recipe is gonna be dropping a little later on this week so now if you enjoyed today's recipe please do not forget to leave me a like on the video also please leave me a comment down in the comment section because I'd love to hear what island you are from and what you do or what you do differently tell me how your Grammy used to make it but most of all I want you to please subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you know each and every time I upload there's another recipe coming this week don't forget to share this with somebody, especially, you know, if they from someplace else and they will know how Bahamians is make crab and dough. All right. Okay. I want to say thank you so much to today's sponsor, Showman E Bistro. I want you to go to the Showman E Bistro restaurant right there on Mackey Street and enjoy all of the world flavored cuisine and the great food with your date of choice. I can tell nobody. Go to showmanebistro.com for more information. And finally, ha! Y'all, my t-shirt ready? My t-shirt ready? I gonna go put on something because I, I really don't want to mess up my t-shirt. And don't forget, when your crab fat and juicy, don't let any and everybody dig up in your pot. Bye. <laughs> juicy, juicy. Okay, let me stop. Okay, y'all. So, you know hurt my feelings? I do all of that. Season it. Look good, it tastes good. I only say look good. And guess what? Probably not no fun. Not no fun. But it's seasoned. So I promise I just opened this crab, right? Let me show you all what has hurt your feelings. Ain't nothing like when you sit down to eat crab and dough and you know you beat this bad. You beat it bad. I, I wasn't too extra on on the ingredients i literally only put a couple things inside here but ain't no fat in the crab man ain't no fat in the crab this how it looked my feelings so hurt